Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these beautiful squares and also how to join them. So here I've done four and also joined them together. I've used cotton yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. For this project I'm using five ply cotton yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. So you're gonna start with magic ring so do as you like so the first chain is to secure it and then I'm gonna do two extra chains so I've got three chains and these three chains is counted as a stitch I'm gonna do now 15 double crochet into the ring so yarn over and go into the ring and do your 15 double crochet I've done my 15 double crochet and now I'm going to slip stitch to the chain 3 so I've got a total of 16 stitches and then you can close the ring, pull the short in Oops. and the second round is going to be chain 1, half double crochet the same so do your half double crochet and then chain 1 and then half double crochet the next then again chain one and half double crochet into the next so you're going to do chain one and half double crochet in each of the stitches so you're going to have 24 uh, chains and 24 half double crochet sorry I mean 16 16 of each I don't know why I said 24 and after the 15 uh, have once you've done your 15 double crochet you should uh, slip stitch to the chain 3 so you're gonna have total of 16 stitches and then close the ring so pull the short in and close it and now for the second round chain one half double crochet the same chain one half double crochet next chain one half double crochet next so the pattern is chain one and then half double crochet chain one and half double crochet so you're going to repeat in each of the stitches you're going to end up with 16 half double crochet and 16 chains To finish this second round, you'll need to do the chain one after the half double crochet and then slip stitch into the first half double crochet. And now I'm going to join the new yarn. So what I'm going to do is go into the chain one space which is here and then grab the new yarn and slip stitch like this and then pull the white yarn. And I'm gonna start the third third round. Chain three, one, two, and three. Then yarn over twice. Go into the chain one space again. So you're gonna have four loops into the hook. Look, you're gonna go through first two. And you're gonna have now three loops go through first two again 
and keep these two loop into the hook and then yarn over twice again go into the same space so now you're gonna have five loops I'm gonna do the same thing go through first two and then again go through first two so now you're gonna have three and you're gonna repeat this once more so yarn over twice go into the same space and now you're gonna have six loops go through first two then again go through the first two and you're gonna have four loops and you're gonna go through all four so now you've got this cluster of four triple crochet and because this chain three was actually half of the triple then I've done three and that's a cluster and then I'm gonna do chain three one two and three and repeat the same thing onto the next chain one space so in each of the chain one you're gonna have this cluster of four triple so total of 16 times so I'm gonna repeat now yarn over twice go into the next chain one space and do go through first two then go through first two and you're gonna have two loops and then yarn over twice go into the same space go through first two and then go through first two and you're gonna have three then yarn over twice again and repeat go through first two go through first two you're gonna have now four loops yarn over go into last time first two and then go through first two so now you're gonna have five loops once you have your five loops yarn over and go through all five that's the second one done and you're gonna repeat this one two and three and now I'm gonna repeat this again into the next so yarn over twice go into the next one and always go through first two loops and then again So second time done and now the third and now the fourth that's it and don't forget the chain three each time one two and three and continue this pattern of four triple into each of these uh, chain space so once you've continued the whole round you will have 16 clusters and now it's time to slip stitch so don't forget the chain 3 and then go into the first cluster which is here and slip stitch and now what I'm gonna do is go into the next stitch which is here and do another slip stitch so here you go Oops. and then now into the next chain three space i'm going to join the new yarn so go into the space leave this pink one and grab the new yarn And do a slip stitch like this pull the pink one and the chain one so this chain one doesn't count as a stitch so now I'm gonna move into the last round so single crochet into the same space And now do a chain one then place your thumb into the chain one like this and then do chain four one two three and four then go into the first loop of this fourth one this one so you've got this chain four 
and into the very first one here I'm going to do a slip stitch then chain one again go into the next chain three space and do a single crochet so you've got now this picot here and you're going to continue like this once more so chain one place your thumb on top of the chain one and do one two three four and go into this one the first one and do a slip stitch uh, and then chain one go into the next chain three space and do a single crochet and after these two picot here now I'll be moving into the triple crochet into the next so yarn over twice go into the next chain three space and go through first two go through first two and then go through this last two so you've got one triple and you're gonna do five more so total of six so this is my second one I'm gonna continue So after this six triple crochet, I'm going to do again another picot. It's going to be chain one. Place your thumb on top of the chain one, and do chain four. One, two, three, four. Go into the first chain, which is here, and slip stitch. Do chain one, and then repeat six triple crochet into the same. So here yarn over twice go into the same space and do your triple crochet so total six so once you've done your six triple crochet so you're gonna do a single crochet into the next chain three space which is here and then repeat these two pico again so chain one then chain four one two three four so go into this one the fourth one and do a slip stitch and then chain one again go into the next and then single crochet and again repeat chain one then chain four, one, two, three, four, go into this fourth one, slip stitch, chain one, go into the next space and do single crochet. That's it, two picot done, and again you're gonna repeat this part. So you're going to do six triple and then this picot and then six triple again.
I've continued the round and finished with the last corner and the last triple crochet and it's time to slip stitch to finish this round so what you'll have to do is go into the first single crochet and slip stitch so I'm going here into the first one and chain one and secure it so you have to do chain one cut the yarn and pull and secure so the first square is done and now it's time to join more squares so what you have to do is start another square and when you're in the last round the side that you want to join you'll have to start by by the corner so here I've got another square done and I stopped here into the last triple crochet corner so I've done half of it so six triple crochet and when I'm in the picot that's where I need to join so I will have to go into this corner over here so align it and this is where I'm gonna join this one so I'm gonna show you how to do it so I was in the last corner not the last one so the third corner and I've done the six triple crochet so what I'm gonna do is chain one and then chain two so total of three chains and then I'm gonna insert the hook like this into that picot here so grab it go from the top into the loop and then you need to slip stitch so slip stitch then chain two one and two then slip stitch to the chain two over here so you've got here three chains you'll have to go into the middle one and slip stitch chain one and that's done and you'll have to continue now the pattern which is six triple crochet so yarn over twice and go into the same space and do your six triple crochet so one two I've finished the six triple crochet and then now I'm gonna single crochet into the next and when I'm again into the picot now I'm gonna join the next one so the similar way one two three chains and then go into the picot over here insert your hook so and then slip stitch and continue chain two one and two go into the middle of these three chains that you've done before and slip stitch then chain one go into the next and single crochet similarly one two three go into the next picot And slip stitch then again chain two one and two go into the middle of these three and slip stitch chain one and single crochet so after you've joined these three points it looks like this so now I'm to the last corner and after the single crochet I'm going to do six triple crochet into the next space so yarn over twice go into the next and do six triple crochet so one so after the six triple crochet now what I'm going to do is join it to this two bit here so I've already joined once so this is going to be the third one so if you can see here I'm gonna join into this slip stitch over there so if you turn it you can see the space I'll be showing you now so chain three one two 
and 3 and then take this bit and you see this little hole when you pull it you can see it so I'm going to insert from the other side like this and do a slip stitch then chain 2 do the slip stitch into this middle one so you've got the three chains then chain one and continue doing the six triple crochet and once you've done the six triple crochet you will need to slip stitch to the first single crochet here and that would be the end of the joining And I'm finishing off with the slip stitch then chain one and cut the yarn and secure it so this is how it looks so there's only four point of joining in each of the sides and I'll be now showing you also how to join these two sides so another square so to join these two sides with one square what you have to do is uh, once you've done the first corner and you're in the second one you have to stop after the six triple crochet and then start joining to the first one which is here and then you go around so how you join is the same way chain three three and then insert the hook into this first pico here into this corner one and slip stitch then chain two one and two go into the middle one which is here and slip stitch again then chain one and do your six triple crochet here And continue the pattern so the six triple crochet then a single crochet and now after the single crochet you're gonna join this next to the same way so what you have to do is chain three one two and three go into the next pico insert the hook slip stitch then again chain two one and two go into the the middle one of these three chains and slip stitch then chain one go into the next and single crochet and then repeat the same thing one two three grab the next one slip stitch chain two slip stitch into the middle one chain one and then single crochet and now here again in the corner I'm going to do six triple crochet so one so after the six triple crochet now I'm going to join into this one so here I've got the three sides already done and this is the fourth one so chain three one two and three and insert the hook into into the middle you can see here and then slip stitch then chain two slip stitch again into the middle one of here and then chain one and do your six triple and you have to repeat the exact same pattern that you did into this side to that one so I've continued the work and finished and this is how it looks so you can see the middle joining it's uh, really neat and then two on the each of the sides that's, so that's it and now it's time to just weave the ends and you can make it as big as you want so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye